it's your girl Em here and today I'm coming at you with a video straight after I finished a photo shoot of what's in my carry-on. So today I'm going to show you what I've packed in here to take on the plane to Wales. So this is what I would pack in a carry-on for a long haul flight. So this is a 30 hour flight. So let's get started shall we? Okay so I like to take a small suitcase with me. So this is carry-on size and you you're allowed seven kilos on international flights. So I love this suitcase in particular because it has two separate compartments. I hope you guys can see that, but it has this compartment here and then it has a separate like sleeves and everything. And then this part here unzips to reveal our second compartment. So that's what I love about this one little suitcase. First thing that I have in here in my first side is my cameras of course, so cameras, battery chargers and everything like that uh, as well as the camera that I'm filming on that'll be going in there too. So the next thing I have is any medication in a clear ziplock bag, so things like Panadol and just things like that in general, stuff for stomach aches. The next thing I have I absolutely love and I hate general travel cushions so this is super awesome for me. It's a little cat and it has like a little nose peeking out and it's perfect because I like to sleep on my side like this and it's yellow and it's just really cute. The next thing I have in here also is a travel notebook so it's just a general notebook with a pen. It's great to take a pen on flights as well because you do have to fill out um, international declarations and travel documentation when you're on the plane coming back into Australia. I also have some gum in here. Chewing gum is great. Uh, when you're on a plane for 30 hours, they will give you toothpaste and toothbrushes and things like that on the flight to brush your teeth with, but it's great to have something just to chew in between. And then in my second side of my suitcase, in my compartment, I take my handbag. So that's uh, one thing that I really love about this suitcase is that I can carry this at the airport as well as wheel this, but when I'm on the flight, I can easily chuck my handbag into my suitcase. Uh, what I have in here is some um, fluffy socks. <laughs> now these have like wool all the way down in them. They're super nice. I hate, hate wearing shoes on the plane and I get really cold feet. So when you're up at high altitudes, the temperature is cooler. So I like to have some nice warm socks on me so that I can slip off my shoes and pop them on. The next thing I have in here is just this little black bag and in here I have um, things like tissues, um, my braces bands, a little comb and some earbuds for um, adjusting to pressure on the plane. So sometimes I have bad ears, especially if we're in a double decker plane. So I like to have those just in case. The next thing I have is my headphones. Now I really like my headphones. I think they match pretty cute with my little cat pillow too. So I have my copper headphones. They've just been wrapped up from my last flight to London. So they're just copper like this and they're really comfy. <laughs> and they block out the noise really well as well from other passengers or crying babies, things like that. So that is fantastic. The next thing I have in this little bag is just some earbud headphones as well. Sometimes my head gets a little bit sore from having big headphones on it the whole time. So I just have my little Apple earbuds. And I also have this adapter plug. So I don't know if you guys can see that. But if you are flying anywhere, you will need an adapter plug for your headphones. Um, the headphone jacks on the plane are the two pronged ones. So make sure if you're traveling anywhere to get yourself an adapter plug. You don't want to be stuck using the plane's uh, in-flight headphones. Although sometimes they are pretty good, it's nice to have your own headphones, I reckon. <laughs> the next thing I have in here is just this little brown bag. So I have a bag inside of a bag inside of a bag. <laughs> but in here, what I'm going to put, which I haven't put in here yet, is just a little purse with my money in it, and then also my passport and travel documentation. 
So it's good to have something like this. I can sling it on, it goes over my shoulder, and then I can just keep it very close to my body, which is one thing you want when you're traveling. You always want your passport and everything safe on you at all times. So one thing you don't want to lose, you don't want your identity stolen. Nobody wants to be me. Maybe people want to be me, but I want to be me. I don't think me can be me. <laughs> the next thing I have in here is just a bag, again, with tissues, but if you're carrying any liquids in your carry-on, they have to be in a Ziploc bag. So I just have some roll-on deodorant, no aerosols, guys. Um, I have some body lotion, just some moisturizer. Sometimes your skin can get really dried out on long haul flights. Uh, I have some lip balm in here, I have some tissues, I have some hand sanitizer. Always want to make sure you have hand sanitizer on you because germs and disgusting things. I'm actually contemplating getting a face mask for this flight because the last flight I did actually get sick on and like caught germs. So a lot of people do tend to wear face masks and we thought that was silly but it's definitely worth buying one and popping it on. Risking the one or two hours of looking like a crazy germ phobe to save getting a cold and spending a week out like sick or away from school or work. So definitely thinking about getting one of those. Um, I also have a little 5ml perfume. So I like to keep smelling nice on the plane. You can only take bottles up to 100ml as well. So all of these are under 100ml. Make sure you keep that in mind when packing. You don't want to chuck in your face cream into your handbag to have it taken off of you. The next thing I have in here is some QV face cleansing wipes. So this is the same as the face wash that I use. Um, they're for sensitive skin because I do have quite sensitive skin. And um, there's 25 in here and they're just little towelettes. So nice to keep your face fresh on the flight. The next thing I have in here is a selfie stick because you never know, guys, when I have to take selfies and update you. I can even put like my phone in here and camera and stuff like that to take some footage and record while I'm on the flight for further YouTube videos. So it's great to have one of these. We actually picked this up in Paris, which was cool. Um, I have my phone charger, so just the USB part. The uh, charger that plugs into the wall plus my adapter plugs for the UK plugs versus Australian are also in my main suitcase. So you can charge your phones through USB cords on the plane. I also have in here my um, travel safety, travel insurance documents. So keep those on you at all times if ever you get sick or have to go to the doctor. And I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> So obviously I'll also have my phone in here and my iPad. I'm not taking my laptop with me on this flight because we're only over there for a week so I don't really need my laptop with me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful to know all of the things that I take with me in my carry-on on international flights. Like up this video, I post videos almost every week if not more. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and until next time guys, bye!